Since the 16th of December, Warzone players have had a once-in-a-lifetime COD experience that's never happened before where the integration of two Call of Duties has happened, this being Cold War and Warzone. Now, we got 30 guns from Cold War into Warzone, many of which don't perform well against Warzone guns. However, a few do stick out to us in the crowd as very good guns, and in some cases, the best gun in the whole game at the moment. So without further ado, let's just get into the guns that you should be using. And number one, we have what I think is the best gun in Cold War Warzone at the moment. Better than the MP5 and has double the mag size. Now if you haven't run into this, whether you're in Resurgence Trios or in Verdansk, the MAC-10 is the new SMG that the developers added into the new Season 1 update. And with the right attachments that are on screen now, this gun, with almost the same amount of rounds as an AR, with a ridiculous fire rate, absolutely shreds. With one mag you can easily take out two people, and with the fast mag, solo squadding with a good strategy is also very easy, and I've done it myself. So in my opinion, and many other reputable YouTubers like Jgod, Iceman Isaac, Swag, you know, they're all saying, you know, just this is just to name a few, they're all saying this gun is absolutely broken. And if you see the screenshot that's on screen now from Jgod, we see that the time to kill beats out the MP5 in all categories, whether a little or a lot in terms of milliseconds. Now, at the moment, this should become the meta, especially because the R90 is getting silently nerfed apparently. So once it gets properly nerfed, we're going to see this take over Verdansk. Now at number 2 we have another good gun that's been added into the game, and this is the M16, which is best used in a burst configuration, which can effectively 2 burst anyone in Warzone. And trust me, I've been killed by this, so it's definitely not bad. Now the build on screen seems to be the best one to use, and so if you like burst guns or you want to try out some new guns that are actually good, then the M16 burst tactical rifle is definitely worth a go. I personally prefer to use this in the Resurgence map because you don't really need as much range, so I use it there. However, for main war zone, the next gun is perfect. So at number 3, we have what I'd like to call the Cold War Kilo. You know, pretty catchy name. And the reason I said this is because, you know, it's a long range AR. The gun is the Krig 6. Now in real life, this is based on the Swedish AK-5, which was designed in the 80s. However, in-game, I compare it to the Kilo 141 due to its low levels of recoil and moderate rate of fire. If you use these attachments, then again in Warzone or in Resurgence, you're going to slap with this gun. They're on screen now. So make sure that you also combine this with some of the other weapons that are in this video, either the MAC-10 or another SMG that's going to come up with the respective builds. Also, let me know down in the comments if you're going to use any of the builds so far, or yet to come. Anyway, at number 4, we have a break from the ARs for a minute, back to the SMGs. Another one that is almost as good as the MAC-10, but you know, not quite as good for me. However, some people have actually said they prefer it and is better. This is the AK-74U. Now, the best build is the one right here, you know, with the sound suppressor muzzle, liberator barrel, etc, etc. Now, once you've got this in your loadout, you are going to have some good fun with this gun. Basically, this is a shrunken down AR, I meaning you're going to be able to use it for longer ranges as an SMG, and you're going to be able to combine it with a very long range AR like, you know, a growl, or a sniper rifle, or a marksman rifle, and you're going to absolutely shred lobbies with this. This is also brilliant because if you dislike the RAM, Kilo, AMAX, MP7, MP5, you know, the list goes on for, you know, SPR and HDR loadouts, then this is great to replace them as a secondary for your sniper loadouts that I've mentioned in a previous video on this channel. Now at number 5, if you stay to the end of this video, this last gun is absolutely OP and is basically as good as the FAL when it was broken a few months ago in the game. Now if you haven't been too shotted to the head yet by the DMR, then you're in for a surprise that you're going to love when you use this. Now if you use the attachments that are on screen right now, you're gonna shred. If you get good with this gun, then once you start getting consistent headshots and shoulder shots, you know, above body shots basically, they're gonna go down almost instantly. This does 175 damage to the head. Yep, you heard that right. 175 damage and with this build people are going to think you're hacking basically and even with body shots it only takes five or six shots so if you hit the headshots and you combine this with a mac 10 or an ak-74u you are going to absolutely slap 
So overall, these are the top loadouts that have been added into Warzone recently in the new update, ranging from the best SMG beating out the MP5 in time to kill at any range, and an AR that is half sniper and yet two shots to the head. So if you used any of the loadouts in the video, then make sure that you leave a comment telling me down below which one you used, as well as leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing as always. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.